this right here is the only one parallel art card from the Japanese Digimon set BT06 Double Diamond. This is the most expensive Digimon card from the modern Digimon set, valued at around 3,000 US dollars. And today, Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Fursa here from P4C. Uh, as you saw in the intro today, we are searching for the most expensive Digimon cards uh, for the modern Digimon set, and that is the Omegamon or Onimon uh, parallel art within this BT06 Double Diamond. We've actually opened around eight boxes now and still no luck. And in fact, I've gone out my way and bought an entire case uh, to see if we can find this particular card. Uh, as you saw in the intro, this card is worth about uh, anywhere from 2500 to even $3,000 USD. So it is definitely a chase card and a prize card to get for this modern uh, Digimon set. Now you might be wondering, the title of this video doesn't really match what I'm talking about right now but 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 uh, we are going to show you guys how you could find out uh, what's your Japanese trading card worth whether they're from Digimon whether they're from Yu-Gi-Oh whether they're from Pokemon uh, we'll show you the website that we often use and refer to so make sure you stay tuned throughout this opening one last thing before we go into our openings today is that if you want to see the early openings and sets review uh, for trading cards from Pokemon, from Digimon, from Dragon Ball Super, uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then afterward hit the bell for the latest videos and updates. Uh, looking at the calendar right now, we're obviously in the start of August. In about two weeks time is the release of the latest Dragon Ball uh, Super uh, card game set BT14 which is uh, Cross Spirits. Um, this set is scheduled to come out on the 13th of August. We usually tend to get stock just a tad earlier no we're not sponsored it's just uh, a geographical uh, advantage of where i am in hong kong so hopefully we'll grab that and open it for you guys uh, as an early opening and show you guys uh, how good of this set will potentially be all right without further ado let's go straight into our openings and let's get that chase card today all right, here we go. We've got two boxes here in front of me. Uh, depending on time, uh, we might actually open more or we might stop at one uh, if we happen to pull it from one of the first boxes. Uh, these boxes, I guess, are very similar to uh, Pokemon uh, in the, the Japanese uh, booster boxes in the, in the sense that you are guaranteed uh, at least one secret rare or one parallel rare. Uh, in the cases of the latest though, the EX01 uh, Classic Collection, uh, there's been cases where uh, within just one uh, booster box there happen to be multiple uh, Secret Rare and Ultimate Art. So, I mean, the Classic uh, Collection is, I guess, um, have more cards within uh, have more cards within the uh, within the packs. They have, I think, twelve cards. So maybe the reason, maybe the reason why this is the case. So, uh, and what I was wanting to say is that you only get one, I guess, parallel art, uh, which is the uh, Pokemon equivalent of secret rare and or above so once we pull that we pretty much know that we're not going to pull every anything else and we'll stop there so we'll see how this box goes like i said we might only need one box we might only need one box here and then we'll get another tamer card here uh which is uh, trick the characters there um i'm uh, I, I, yeah, I can't believe I actually bought so many uh, of these. I pretty much have gone all in uh, with uh, with this particular set, wanting to pull this uh, magnificent, magnificent uh, Omega Mon card. Also known as Omni Mon here, another Tamer card here. So uh, I think within a box, um, you usually get um, you usually get. Uh, you know, obviously the the guarantees, you know, the guarantee parallel art or secret rare, and you also get some super rares. I think you get around two to three if you're lucky. You might get three or four uh, super rare cards here. No, just a rare card here. So so far, uh, we've opened uh, about four packs and nothing as yet. So hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll, we'll do it within one box. Uh, and the really nice thing about um, Digimon is that that all mighty important cards is uh, always the last. So, 
Uh, oh, I've saw the whitening there, and we have a uh, we have a super rare here. SR. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see. So, like I said, you are kind of guaranteed around three to four uh, super rare cards within one box. All right, continuing on. Um, I've just uh, I think you know people. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, uh, let, let's just put it this way. I'm no expert in Digimon. Uh, I think I've really only watched the first kind of one or two season of Digimon. So all these Digimon coming up right now, you know, Agumon, obviously, we all know. Uh, but other than that, um, really, you know, uh, not really too familiar with it. So I do have to, you know, kind of do my research uh, most of the time. So I think in my last video, um, people were... Uh, I mean, uh, you know, a few individuals were commenting um, that I was, you know, I think I might have got Wurgarurumon and Wargreymon mixed up. So, uh, apologies for that, for those dedicated Digimon fans. And I think I sort of uh, picked it up myself uh, during the video. I knew I got them mixed up. So, uh, hopefully, uh, we, we didn't cause too much. Uh, sad faces uh, for those dedicated Digimon fans and there, you might be also wondering why am I calling um, uh, Omnimon uh, Omegamon because that's what the Japanese say if I'm not mistaken uh, uh, So yeah, that's what the Japanese uh, ja In Japanese is called Omegamon so uh, but in English I think it's called Omnimon so that's why I'm uh, again uh, for those who might be a little bit confused, apologies in advance. We have another super rare here. I thought that might be the case. Another super rare here. So no parallel arc as yet. But like I said, we've opened eight boxes already. And I think, uh, I just think that we, um, you know, I'm obviously looking through. I think we've got most of the, uh, no, I wouldn't say that. The other... We've got we've got all the secret rares. I think we've got all the secret rares. Um, but the secret rare alternate art is the another one that is quite expensive uh, on the on the list. And again, make sure you stay tuned for the whole video, or at least through the halfway of the video, as we will show you guys where you can price some, find some value or pricing information about Japanese specific trading card game. Because uh, I think one of the most common uh, question would be you know how do you find out about the prices uh, of some of these cards so i'll show you guys uh in in you know whenever we finish this particular pile uh and hopefully it is a bit of a useful information for you guys playing at home so all right we're coming into not even halfway we've got another super rare here uh Jesumon, Jesumon here so we've got about three super rares now so i think we are pretty close i would say pretty close uh of hopefully uh, hopefully getting um the chase card that we want which is not this one here not this one here so i i am i downloaded the i actually downloaded the um, how to play app on uh, on on the phone because I just wanted to get an idea of how to play Digimon card game. You know, um, you, you wanted to learn a little bit more uh, about it as you as you become a collector. But I have to say, is a lot more difficult, a lot way more difficult than I anticipated. Um, so I kind of uh, hanged it up halfway through, but I will get back into it I will maybe I need to do it in kind of uh, in person and nothing here yes yeah, so maybe I need to do a session sort of in person rather than uh, rather than on the app because I actually I mean I learned how to play Pokemon um, through the online uh, PTCGO so and that was pretty sweet uh, pretty easy experience so I thought might have been the same and I mean of course at this moment right now Digimon obviously not as big as Pokemon but I think somewhere I saw recently uh, top 10 trading card games uh, Digimon is definitely up there I think first one is Magic the Gathering second one is Pokemon uh, I think third one might have been if I'm not mistaken third one might have been um, Yu-Gi-Oh I would like to say Yu-Gi-Oh but Digimon is definitely up there catching up and uh, so definitely would want to learn how to play now we pull four super rares here 
And we've got another rare here. So this is really going deep into the booster box uh, of uh, of our parallel rare cards. So I'm hoping this might be a bit of a sign here. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll, we'll go into the next box as soon as we pull the parallel... Not this one, not this one. Now I, you know... The, the, the card itself, uh, as shown in our intro, has a magnificent white and blue red sort of, uh, you know, texture colouring. So, you will see white uh, on the card, on the border. Uh, from the bottom up, we should be cheering, but no, it's just an option card here. Uh, option card is, uh, again, uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, I know there is a lot of dedicated players out there. But option cards, kind of like your item and supporter card uh, in in Pokemon. All right, come on, let's. It is, it is, it is. No, it is not that card. So we are really down to the wire here. We've got four more packs to go from the first box. Uh, this usually doesn't happen uh, with us. Uh, we usually get to pull pretty much early. The the. You know, with the secret rare and up and all above uh, for Pokemon, and we get another rare card. So this would this be an error box? Would this be an error box where it doesn't have any uh, secret rare or sorry, alternate art or secret rare cards? So I, f I got a strong feeling about this pack. I think it might be here. It might be here, uh, and it it is. It is. So you can see here. This is the. Uh, uh, I don't know what's the um, the direct translation for this. I might even just jump on and and may have a look. But this is an alternate art. Uh, this is Agumon um, Courage Courage Bond. Uh, but this is a parallel art. Uh, again, don't murder me in the comment below. Uh, but this is the parallel art that we were chasing here. Um, I might put the original art on the screen just in case uh, you guys are wondering what it looks like. So we have got our first parallel art, but it's not the one that we're chasing. Alright, for those who are now uh, starting to collect uh, more Japanese cards as well as uh, already have an extensive Japanese cards collection and wondering how much are those Japanese cards are really worth. Uh, here is a website for reference. Now, just as a quick disclaimer before we go into a little bit further, I'm not sponsored by this particular website, but this is a point of reference that I use. So, uh, whatever the prices uh, on this particular website is, uh, is not the definitive answer for those cards. This website here, right in front of you and I, is called Yuyute, is a online uh, card shop uh, in Japan. Japan specifically that offer buying and selling services and as you can see uh, in the screen right here uh, a wild range of TCG is being offered uh, most notably um, probably more popular uh, is Yu-Gi-Oh right in the middle there and then you've got Pokemon as well right next to it and then of course we've got Digimon uh, right in the left hand side top corner uh, other notable ones, Dual Monsters, Super uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, uh, are some of the other uh, old-time favorites in terms of Japanese TCG there. But uh, since we are on the topic of Digimon, uh, so let's go into the Digimon tab and show you guys what it looks like. So this is the Digimon home page here and then right on the left hand side here we have three options so it is this uh, buying selling and strategy uh, again like I said this particular website offer buying and selling services for those who are uh, looking to get rid of their cards pretty quickly uh, as well as selling off some uh, maybe commons and uncommons and rare cards as well so the first tab here is obviously uh, straight to buying uh, so for this particular uh, Omnimon uh, parallel card if I want to find out how much uh, Yute is actually selling it for simply I click on the single card uh, and then I'll click on the booster and we are looking at BT06 here double diamond and this gives you the entire set in terms of the cards that is available for purchase and as I scroll down here and here it is this is the parallel art uh, Onimon or Omegamon uh, in Japanese and you can see they are selling it for 
close to three thousand five hundred US dollars. Now, uh, let's say if I have this card and I want to sell it off pretty quickly I simply go into the selling tab which is uh, or the buyback tab which is right next to it and then again similar procedures and then this is the list that UUTE is offering uh, or the value or the money that they are offering in order to buy uh, this card and you can see a broad range of cards there and then again they are offering uh, 2000 USD dollars or they are about uh, in order to buy this card back and you can clearly see uh, how much profit they're actually uh, making uh, through this process but going back into the uh, previous page like I said uh, they also uh, buy back the super rares as well and then the rare cards uh, and then uh, the uh, uncommons and common cards as well so it's not just the rare cards they but that they buy back uh, they buy back uh, other cards as well because they uh, do offer um, I guess um, purchases for uh, more competitive players so to speak so they can buy these cards to build a deck now in terms of the uh, translation from Google uh, you can just click on this button uh, on the top I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it but in your address bar there should be a translate a Google translate button if you're using Google Chrome and you switch it over to English uh, I would say the English translation is not too bad um, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of what it is uh, now the biggest hurdle for a lot of people is finding particular card in English and what you would need to do simply head over to Google and uh, the best strategy is uh, just typing in so for example if I'm looking to uh, uh, for Charizard in Japanese and I can't type Japanese I would just go ja Charizard in Japanese uh, and then the uh, quite often comes up in translation but if you want to play it safe you can go to any of this here highlight it and just go copy and then you would go back to the website and then just do a simple paste and then you'll be able to uh, type or search by Japanese in the card I hope this particular uh, session here uh, is valuable and useful to you guys again you you take uh, I'm not sponsored by them uh, but they are just one of the outlets you can use in order to find out how much uh, is your Japanese cards are worth all right uh, before we go into the second box here I just jumped online and had a look at the tra direct translation because I wanted to make it right uh, so this is Agumon Bond of Bravery, Bond of Bravery. Uh, so uh, the reason why I kind of butchered the translation because you can see Agumon is this letter here, Bravery is Yuki, and then uh, Bond is uh, Kitsuna. So that's why I was, you know, you know what I'm trying to get at. But anyway, we put an alternate art, uh, Agumon, Bond of Destiny here. There is a uh, Gabumon, Bond of Destiny as well. So we might, hopefully, uh, hopefully we might pull that somewhere down the line, but. Uh, this is the second box here. Uh, again, we are chasing the Omnimon or Omegamon, whichever way or whichever one that you wanted to to say. Um, for uh, it's, I mean, in English, it's Omnimon. Uh, in in Japanese, it's Omegamon. So take your pick. All right, here we go. Second box here. Um, Let's see. No, no first pack magic here. No first pack magic here. All right, and we are definitely stopping uh, as soon as we hit the hit the parallel rare. And now you guys saw from the opening, we do. Oh my god, I pulled it already! Oh my god, I think I pulled it already. This is the we're checking checking here. I'm pretty sure it is because of the texture. Uh, this is the parallel art here. This is the Skull Greymon here. Oh, we've uh, we pulled it already. All right, since we've got our parallel art pretty early, so we're gonna go go for box number three. Now, you guys might be asking, what am I going to do with all those packs? Uh, those packs, uh, well, you never know. You might get an error box, so you might have two, um, two, you know, parallel art within within one box. Who knows? Uh, but we'll, we'll, I think uh, in the you know sort of giveaways that we have on our channel consistently, we might actually include those packs 
um, just as a as a give give me um, you know on uh, when we do give away stuff. So this is box number three now. Uh, how exciting! Box number three, uh, nothing here. So uh, there you go. This is. This is uh, I think I'll stop at this one. I think I'll stop at this one. Let's see how how far this one will take me. Uh, I think I will stop at this one, and hopefully this is the one. This is the one here. And oh, nothing, nothing here. Uh, I need to kind of. Uh, I, I actually, you know, the moment I've opened the um, this first box, I kind of forgotten about the time as well. So the timing of this particular video. Uh, so hopefully it's not too long and and people won't go to sleep uh, halfway through. But thank you, thank you very much for you know supporting us and. Uh, watching this video, nope, it's just a uh, rare there. Uh, for those who want to support us a, just a little bit more, we do have a Patreon page set up, and uh, as a token of appreciation, we run a monthly uh, lucky draw for all of our Patreons member. Uh, nothing here, um, and uh, these, uh, and we have three PSA graded cards every month for uh, for our Patreon member. So we have reviewed the cards that is up for grab for this month um, if you're interested make sure you check them out um, down at the description below uh, for as little as you know five dollars and uh, ten dollars now again you know I know five dollars might and five and ten dollars might mean a lot to uh, someone uh, compared to other people so I really do appreciate your support uh, if you choose to become a patreon member uh, but yeah for as, as little as you know five or ten dollars you may win some really nice PSA slab and you know these are um, you know I, as I promise um, each month there will be at least one card uh, that will be PSA 8 and or above and I'm, so far you know we've ran it for two months now and we had a PSA 10 Gentmin Charizard cards on our channel so um, you know this month I think we have two nines to a PSA 9 and one of them is a Japanese exclusive I know I shouldn't talk about Pokemon while we're opening Digimon but uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys out there and we oh my god we've got the Garbomon <laughs> Garbomon um, and this is I think this might be called the bond of friendship if I'm not mistaken this is the bond of friendship let me just have a look I got it so they're completely correct Garbomon bond of friendship so we've got bond of uh, bravery I said courage bravery and then we've got bond of friendship here so we completed the set but uh, we're gonna stop right here today because uh, this channel uh, sorry this video might go for too long uh, so let's uh, let's do a quick recap all right just as a quick Recap, uh, you probably saw on the screen, but we pull uh, from the three boxes that we open, we uh, pull three parallel art as we would expect. We didn't open everything, so there might be surprises, there might not be, who knows. Uh, but we pull this Skull Greymon right here, and then we pull the Argumon uh, Bond of Bravery. Uh, I think I said uh, something around Courage, which is, I guess, similar. Uh, and then <laughs> Uh, we said that we we're gonna pull this later and which we did we pull this Garbomon uh, bond of friendship So there you go. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this particular video I hope it was fun at the same time informative as well for you guys uh, to find uh, hopefully provided a space uh, for you guys to find out uh, how much your Japanese trading cards would be worth um, from the website that I've shown you. Uh, we're not sponsored by them in any shape or form. We just wanted to give some uh, information uh, for you know whether you're a new joiner or whether you have a particular interest in Japanese cards or whether you want to get into uh, getting some Japanese cards and wanting to know what the market is like. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. While you're at it, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button uh, and then afterwards hit the bell for the latest videos and updates. If you are Indeed, opening up packs all around the world. May the God of Pools be with you always.